New details tonight on a disturbing crime in Woonsocket. A man is facing two counts of unnecessary cruelty to animals and one count of assault with a deadly weapon. Woonsocket police are calling the case reprehensible. Shane Hall is being accused of putting a cat in the freezer and allegedly hurting someone trying to save it. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loschuto spoke to police and joins us now in the newsroom with more. Sheena? Well, according to police, not only is this man accused of putting a cat into a freezer, he's also being accused of shooting his friend with an air soft gun when she tried stopping him. Woonsocket police say disturbing details surrounding a twisted attack on a kitten and then a woman led them to arrest and charge 31-year-old Shane Hall. Back in July, a female victim came forward saying she witnessed Hall go on a rampage. One of his kittens apparently made him angry. He took the kitten in a crate and actually put it in the shower to get it soaking wet and then he put it in the freezer. Police say the woman tried to intervene and then Hall got belligerent with her. As she tried to rescue the cat, he went and got the ISOF gun and allegedly fired several shots at her. Deputy Chief Michael Lemoyne says the woman eventually got the cat out, went to the hospital, and then turned to police. She also told authorities Hall abused one of his kittens the day before, too. Apparently, this kitten, uh, whether it scratched him or knocked over some garbage, obviously this man lacks self-control and has some anger issues. Lemoyne says animal control officers took the kittens away shortly after the incident and brought them to a vet. Police say it took several weeks to get an arrest warrant for Hall. Hall. The deputy chief says the suspect tried hiding when officers went to his house Monday, but authorities eventually took him into custody. You know, we, we take all these complaints, whether it's a person, a child, an animal, very seriously and uh, certainly try to bring these people to justice. Now, Hall faced a judge today. He is currently being held. He will be back in court later this month. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.